They're off. It's opening day at Lone Star Park, and Todd Harrison is hanging with some very fast company. Lose the fat and gain years of healthy living. World-famous Dr. James Machino is here with some life-saving advice. Cindy Pickley's back. Thousand last year. It's going to be a wild time in Grand Prairie. Well, how many times have you tried fad diets, miracle pills, and the latest infomercial exercise machine to battle the bulge? Well, according to our first guest, that's all for naught, my friends. Fitness expert Dr. James Machino believes a commitment to exercise and a very sensible diet are the true strategies that will help you discover a healthier you. He joins us now with some simple steps that we can all follow. James, thanks for being with us. Thank you. That that really is is the key, right? There is no there is no fad. There's no magic pill. You talk about exercise and a, and a healthy diet. I think we all pretty much know that. Why is it people still are out there searching for that that one little magic mm -hmm. bullet that'll make it happen? Well, it sounds boring to say to people, I want you to follow a healthy diet and do some exercise. So, at the Center for Heart and Metabolic Studies, where we work, and we work with patients that are high risk for heart disease, they have diabetes, they're very overweight, many of them, we have to show them the simplicity of doing it. So we break it down into three very simple steps for them. Mm -hmm. We say every day you have to learn how to shrink your fat cells, feed your muscles, and starve your body fat. And they say, well, how do I do that? We say you shrink your fat cells by doing 30 minutes of gentle endurance activity of anything you can tolerate. Could be speed walking, walking on a treadmill, or a rowing machine, a stationary bicycle, anything that they can tolerate in the beginning. And they don't have to do 30 minutes all at once. They can do three bouts of 10, 10 minutes in a day if they can't do 30 minutes all at once. And you're not talking about training to exhaustion either. No, we're saying very yeah. sub-maximal right. activity. They're breathing harder. They can still have a conversation. And when you do that, the fat comes out of the fat cell, travels over to the muscle. The muscle burns the fat, and the fat cells shrink. So you shrink your fat cells every day. People say, oh, I'm starting to understand this. Then we say, now when you go to eat, you have to feed your muscles and don't reload those fat cells. So we say, if you will refuel the carbohydrate fuel tank in the muscle, because you just depleted it while you were exercising, muscles burning fat and carbohydrates, like two fuel tanks feeding into one engine. Now so you hear so many people, excuse me, yeah. so many people in Hollywood these days are talking about the new diet. Wasn't Larry Hagman here not too Larry long? Larry Hagman was here on yeah, last week. Yeah, then you know what I'm going to say. The mm -hmm. high protein stuff, right? Hagman's on this, you know, on a high protein diet, a lot of meat. It's a little different. A lot, a lot of people are having success with it. Yes. But again, it's one of those high, you know, the, the, the fad type of thing. You're saying much more so uh, a 70% mm -hmm. carbohydrate diet. Well, what, what I'm saying is that you, you have to feed your muscles and carbohydrate intake is part of it, but your muscles are made out of protein. So if you're active, you're breaking your protein down. You need oh, more yeah. protein than the average person. So you have to eat protein, but it has to be low-fat protein. Chicken, turkey, fish, seafood, Cornish hen, low-fat dairy products, low-fat cheese, egg whites. And yeah. then you can have a lot of protein in your diet, and you eat as much carbohydrate depending upon your activity level. Mm -hmm. But you have to keep your, your fat intake below 20% of your total mm -hmm. calories. Isn't that pretty ambitious? Yeah. It's not ambitious once you teach people how simple it is. I mean, I'm saying to people, you need to probably have at least two chicken breasts a day, or the average of that, plus at least one dairy product. Mm -hmm. Have some carbohydrates around that. And people say, well, what about in the moment when I want to cheat? What do I do then? I say there's four categories of cheating. Ooey gooey, chippy dippy, frozen desserts, and bars. And we, and we give, <laughs> what would you go for? Ooey gooey? Wow, ooey gooey sounds pretty good. I know it's early. Ooey <laughs> <but, laughs> gooey is fine with me. So, but there are solutions to all of those. Sure. Because people say, I say, I need a little something just to get through the moment. So we say, we know that. Most people feel that way. They oh, think that is, they're neurotic, but everybody's great. neurotic. I want to hear this. So we say, we know that uh, a, 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 a a bagel that has uh, cinnamon and raisin or a blueberry bagel or a biscotti or angel food cake doesn't taste as good as raspberry cheesecake mm -mm. but if you could use it in the moment of temptation just to get you through it it'll help pretzels and popcorn become a great substitution for mm -hmm. chippy dippy things like potato chips and so on right I mean, the frozen dessert category, low-fat frozen yogurts, mm -hmm. sorbets, sherbets, frozen fruit ices become your alternatives. Instead of chocolate bars, mm. which damage a lot of people because there's 17 grams of fat at least in one bar, puts them over their daily limit almost. We say some licorice or jujube can get you through a moment. If you're eating carbohydrates and you're exercising, they'll go to your carbohydrate fuel tank in your muscle. What's the biggest mistake that women trying to lose weight, and I'm talking about those last 10, 15 pounds, just about everybody I know is at that point where they say, if I could just get rid of this. What's the biggest singular mistake that we make in that kind of weight loss? They try to starve, they starve, they try to starve the body fat off, yeah. which is not going to work. When you starve yourself, 
fifty percent of the weight loss is muscle and fifty percent is fat as your muscles break down your metabolism slows down now you have to stay on seven hundred calories a day for the rest of your life well no one can do that mm -hmm. so they start eating again because there's a revolution eventually they can't take it mm -hmm. and they don't just gain the weight back they go way beyond where they started mm -hmm. and that's why those three things shrink your fat cells every day feed your muscles in a way that gives you enough carbohydrates and protein so you're getting enough calories so you don't feel right. deprived use those solution substitutions keep your total fat intake below twenty percent by eating low fat protein mm -hmm. foods and watch the kinds of snacks that you choose everybody wins that way. And what about vitamins? Are you yeah. a vitamin guy? I am indeed but you know yes. let's, you, you mentioned revolution there is kind of a revolution out there people are really in tune out of vitamins especially mm -hmm. the antioxidants mm -hmm. as well as a lot of the herbs and the echinaceas and those kind of things are you finding across the nation yes. like that? And I, I'm glad that they are because because after age 40, and the baby boomers are aging now, there's a decline in how your body works. Your body becomes programmed to wear out. Mm -hmm. So the antioxidants can boost your immune system and, French those, and quench those very dangerous free radicals that can cause genetic damage and make your cholesterol stick to the walls of the artery. Your body makes less coenzyme Q10. You need it to preserve heart function and heart strength. Uh, you need more dietary fiber. Women need more calcium. Supplementation, if, if applied properly, is one of the, the strongest ways that people can ward off the age-related decline in their function and decrease the risk of many degenerative illnesses. Just mm. reinforcing all that uh, good information. That's and you know there. what's so basic? It's just so fascinating. It's just absolutely a basic plan. A little exercise every day. You watch your diet, and you can really do it. You don't need to get those pills that have guava in it or whatever it is that's supposed to I mean you see those ads that say you want to lose weight overnight it's ridiculous well yeah. people are always going to buy into that to do it. but there's the, there's the breakdown the exercise the uh, supplementation mm -hmm. reduce the yeah. fat very yeah. good James we appreciate it very much thank you very much great information well a little later in the show she's the sexy star who's no alien to